I am Kara, as always, it is a pleasure to be the emissary, to be the one, that comes from the Pleiadian civilization, the Pleiadian councils, to be able to be here with you, but know that as I am here with you now, you yourselves, many of you, have done the same experience with other planets, other civilizations, other galaxies even, you have been the emissaries, Many of you even have been the Pleiadian emissaries to other worlds, just as I am to your world now. This is the connectedness of all of us, the consciousness, the one consciousness, that we all share together. For we have all been that, done that, and we will do it again, and again, and again. Will you volunteer at a later time, to enter another illusionary process to play another game? Maybe, that would be your choice. Your discussion earlier was about freedom. Freedom is so important. Freedom is all there is in the higher vibrational frequencies. In the higher dimensions, there is nothing but freedom. There is no such thing as holding control over another being, none whatsoever. So all of you are destined to return once again to that freedom, to be free. Free to make whatever choice you want to make. If you want to travel the galaxy, you will be able to do that. Like your Star Trek, you will be able to go where no one has gone before. Although that will be quite difficult, because we have explored the entire universe, so it would be difficult to find a place where no one has gone before. But, you yourselves, many of you, have been to those places long, long ago. You have experienced much that you will much much that you will become reacquainted with once again. But in order to do that, first you have to find the freedom here on this planet. But more than find it, you have to make it. You have to create it. You have to be a part of creating that for yourselves. And once you have created that for yourselves, then you can go about creating it for others around you. And all of you are in that process right now, in this moment. You are in that process of finding the freedom within yourselves, so that you can reach out to others, and share that with them. Share that light with them. That is what you are here to do, and have been working on. Many of you have been working on this diligently, having been listening to your higher selves reaching out to you, and sharing do this, do that. Do something that will bring about change to the world. You are the change that you want to see in the world. Be that change now. And as you do that, as you become more and more involved, involved in working with your fellow brothers and sisters in whatever way that is. It can be in simply a way in reaching out and talking to one another. It can be a way of reaching out and talking over your internet. There are many ways to share the light many ways to share the expression of ownness and freedom that is up to you how you want to do that if you find yourself wanting to be in meditation and going deeply within yourself and finding that one connectedness that one consciousness within yourself then do it if you find that your expression of your higher self is telling you to reach out to your brother and sister in some way, then do it. But do something. Have some sort of action. Do not just sit back any longer. It is not for you to do that. You are not the ones that came here to do that. You are not the ones to sit on your couch and to let the world revolve around you. You are the ones to bring the world to you, and to bring the world out to others around you. You are the ones that are here, to take this part of the game, and make it your own. And in so doing, you will bring an end to this game. And once you have done that, then we will be able to experience with you. We will be able to show ourselves. Because as I said earlier, you will have raised up into higher vibrational frequencies, more to be able to match with our frequency. We will not come down into your illusion. We have done that before. We have been in those situations before. We do not need to relive that again. So we are waiting for you to rise up, and rise up all of you are doing now, in one way or another, and we ask you to just continue to listen to that inner voice, that we whisper within you that tells you, this is the next step, that you need to take, and then take it, don't sit back, take it, take the steps, whatever they might be, if they are simply, as you have been talking from your discussion, if they are simply, to take the masks off, and say no more, if they are simply, 
to clasp hands and hug each other once again, and say no more distancing. What does distancing, and what does mask wearing bring you? Nothing. It brings only fear. It brings only a continuation of that fear. That fear that you cannot be near another person, because you will catch what they have. How ridiculous is that? When you really get down, and think about it, when you really do use your common sense, to understand what is real, and what is part of the illusion. Do not be a part of the illusion anymore. Be aware of it, as it affects your brothers and sisters. But do not be a part of it any longer. I am Karak, and I enjoy these times, that I can be with you. And so long for those times when we, we as brothers and sisters of the stars, can be together once again. All of us, breathing the same air, feeling the same connectedness and the oneness with each and every one. Peace and love, be with all of you. Dear people, I'm the voice of the earth. I greet you from the ground deep beneath your feet. I'm the heart of the earth who speaks. I want to restore the connection with you all, and to experience and celebrate that connection, because life here on earth is meant to be joyful. You are here to experience joy. Although it is possible that you will first go through painful events, so that you can rediscover and know again the natural joy that belongs to the essence of all reality. But always remember that at its core, life is good. There is a positive current that quickens growth and flowering on both the inner and the outer planes. This current is the essence of the universe, a life-giving, positive, encouraging energy. And that is ultimately where your security lies, with a safety at its most basic level. When you know that life is good, that the universe offers you a grounding in which you can develop and grow, when you can experience that positive feeling, then are you able to truly relax. The ability to feel secure and to relax are inseparable. You cannot relax if you feel unsafe. A part of you then pulls back, is not entirely present, and cannot participate in the flow of positive growth, in the joy that is natural to you. When you feel tense, you cut yourself off from the wonder of life. You cause yourself to be somewhat dead inside. Out of fear, you turn away from life, and, therefore, you will not see all the possibilities that life offers. You limit yourself to what you know, and to what makes you feel safe. But real security does not come from restrictions or rules. True security comes from the feeling that all is good, even though you do not know with your mind, how and what and where all this is going. To experience real safety, you need to get out of your head, out of your thinking mind, and away from the fear, because the fear and the thinking mind often work together. There is a fundamental fear in many of you, that feeling of insecurity, that causes you to search for solutions with your thinking mind and to take measures that try to make life manageable and secure, but doing this does not work, because it amounts to an expression of tension, of a deep feeling of being unsafe. Allow yourself to relax right now, by starting with your body. Imagine that all the tension drains slowly from the muscles of your body. Your body knows how to relax, it is usually the fears that prevent that from happening. So tell your body, I give the lead to you. Tell me how I should sit and breathe in order to relax. And then tell your inner child, the seat of your emotions, that it too, is free to relax, that it too, may express all the emotions it feels. There is no taboo in your spirit, in your consciousness, everything is allowed expression and there is room for everything. Feel how doing this both increases, and expands your consciousness. You allow your body, to find its own way and rhythm, and you allow your inner child to express itself, it knows how to do that, how to let all this happen. And you trust that all this is possible, because in the depths of your being you know, that life is good, that life is a positive flow. Allow yourself to become very still inside, as you energetically breathe out all the way. Allow everything to drift away from you, the concerns, the tension, the anxieties of everyday life. There is a new silence, a space that is unaffected by all the fuss, all the stimuli and thoughts. From this quiet place, you are one with God. You are not someone who is separate and alone, 
You are one with the whole. You are embedded and secure within that vast whole that is God and that includes the entire universe. There is an indestructible security and it is good. Know that at the base and origin of everything lies a good and loving strength, one that is creative beyond imagination and from which you were born. Perhaps you see that source appear before you as a very pure white light, so let that white light flow around and through you. This is your base, your foundation. Herein lies the origin of all the safety and strength you are looking for. It is very often the case that, in everyday life, people are looking for security and find, or attempt to find, that security and roles they fulfill, especially in regard to other people. They are a father or a mother, an employer or an employee, a friend, someone's support and refuge, or they are important in the world of their work and activities. And many people derive a sense of security from being those things, so they can relax for a while, when they are in their role. They then feel they have meaning and value to other people, which makes them feel they are worthy. They fulfill a role, which makes them feel recognized and accepted. But sense how behind that role fulfillment lies a deep fear of not being sufficient, and, therefore, of not being safe. You are trained in this life to focus on outer roles and goals. It is as if everything in your upbringing and education is designed to prepare you for the outer world. Yet there is an implication in that preparation that says, you are not good as you are. There must be all kinds of things wrong with you, therefore, you need to be polished and perfected and made acceptable. And even though things are changing in the world, shifting in this time, and there is more respect for the inner world, and toward what someone naturally carries within themselves, there is still much progress to be made in this area. Many people are still burdened by a fundamental sense of insecurity, of not being good enough, of being unworthy as they are. See if you recognize that sense in yourself of being afraid to fail, of feeling the need to always perform at your best by carefully making certain you do an acceptable job or always needing to look for compliments, having to present yourself in a certain role, because doing that gives you permission, to feel as if you are someone who then has the right to ask for something in return. You all are trained to base your self-awareness on who you appear to be, someone who is seen in the outside world for what they do. I now ask you to take a step backward, a very radical step backward, and to understand deeply, that when you see confirmation from the outer world, you let yourself down. Then the insecurity, which is already there inside you, grows larger. The more you turn to the outside world, to gain your right to exist, the deeper becomes the hole inside you, that black hole, which feels like a scary place, where you do not feel at home. In that hole, you are all alone, no one is there to tell you, that you are doing it right. How, then, do you get affirmation, and how do you get the feeling you have a right to exist? The how happens, when you turn away from all those external sources of confirmation. And if you do that in a conscious way, you then turn toward that black hole, toward that fundamental sense of insecurity, the fear. You enter into it, and you do not allow yourself to be distracted or seduced by what the world around you says. You have most likely already experienced, at a deep level, that making yourself dependent on external certainties does not work. Life has brought you to this point, so you then turn toward the inward path and many of you stay there a long time, immersed, so to speak, in the fears, the uncertainties, the pain that is piled up in there. And you do not come through that process without effort, because in that black hole is a reservoir of oppressed emotions. After all, how long have you denied yourself, by becoming the roles, that do not fit you, or only partially fit you? How long have you denied yourself of receiving love from others? The larger purpose of entering into this black hole is to discover, that it is actually a tunnel, although a dark tunnel, and that at its end you are released, and become free to again enter into the white light that I just described. The primal core of life is in some way impersonal, because it is universal. The white light says to you, you are all right, just as you are, you are perfect in your unique reality. It is impersonal in the sense, 
that this lie does not say, you have got to do this, or that thing well, or what you did, was less than good, or your achievements are k. The light is not personal and not selective, you are loved, absolutely, just as you are. All the judgments about yourself, whether you are successful, or whether you have failed entirely, fall by the wayside. This light is, therefore, so otherworldly that it seems to be far from your everyday reality. Yet I ask you to maintain intimate connection with this light in your daily life, because doing that brings innovation and change, and a deep relaxation to your body and energy field. Feel the primal core of life, it is a joyful flow. That is not to say that everything in your life, will feel good and fine, not at all. The universe, life, is on a search, it feels called to develop, to grow, to investigate. On that search, you will find painful places, most often within yourself. But when there is this fundamental sense of safety in you, there is always an undertone of joy in spite of everything you are going through. That is something you cannot find in the world outside you, that source is within you. I know that you sometimes see life on earth as a veil of tears, a struggle with resistance, negativity, sluggish energies, pain, and suffering. However, all these sad and painful energies do not come from the earth itself, they are the result of opposition to life by human beings. They arise from fear and a wanting to control the natural flow of life. Now feel my energy, the heart of the earth. Feel how I want to help you to restore the connection with your essence, with the white light in you that fully affirms that everything is allowed to be, that you are free to explore everything that is in you. Feel blessed and liberated by this light. You are a child of the universe, and you are infinitely loved. You are so great and important, that there are always helpers with you, guides and friends. You are never alone, but only through this white light can you feel, and sense this fully, and restore the connection with your helpers. Do not feel an outcast any longer, lonely and estranged. Open yourself again to the core of all life. I now ask you to place the soles of your feet on the ground, so they can absorb my energy, and so you can experience how I'm your carrier of that white light the light of joy. Allow my energy to flow upward into your legs. Feel born by me. Let my energy flow through to your thighs and pelvis, and up into your abdomen and stomach. Feel that it is time to relax. I'm grateful that you are here. I work together with you by accepting your soul light as it touches me. Your soul light is a precious gift you give to me, and I receive it with respect. Receive also my gift to you, the love and the safety of the earth. Thank you so much.